I'm making a change today. The liquor been taking the pain away. I heard you was giving your chain away. That's kind of like giving your fame away. What's wrong with you? I sit in a box with our owners. Yo, what's up, broskies? Keanu coming at you with the um, new deck profile today. Uh, this is my uh, cash tier list. Um, not gonna lie, it's pretty heavily inspired uh, by two other lists I saw. One being uh, Spanko, pretty big fan of his channel. He uploaded one. I think his was also inspired by someone. And then there was a guy that, um, if I remember his name, I'll put him in the description. Uh, he like topped a pretty high level event with, uh, I think it was like a regional, so I, I guess it wasn't like too high level. Um, but he topped it um, with a list super similar to this. Um, so, you know, if I, if I find his name, I'll put it up, but you know, y'all probably know it. Um, but I do have like some, some differences in mind. So I'll just go through it real quick. Um, and like I had like, you know, almost two complete play sets of uh, unicorns and uh, Fenrir. So I was like, you know, I have like one, one set for my Scarecrow and like one I want to try to run this pure. And uh, in testing, uh, playing in like friend groups, um, it's actually been been performing and we pretty have a pretty diverse like group. But um, enough talking. I'm gonna go ahead and get into it. So first up, uh, triple unicorn, obviously. Um, uh, sucks that this card is super expensive now. I think they're like $25 a copy or something like that. Um, when the set was first released, they were like at six or seven dollars for the longest time. Um, <clears throat> and I was fortunate enough to like rip all of them, but I knew this is like one of those cards I knew was going to be on the rise because um, it just gives you full knowledge of the extra deck and you just rip a card out. Um, so basically, you can special all of the cast your free special summons if you control no monster. Um, this one is probably the best one in that it uh, surges the spell cast your birth and that lets you normal summon again well not again but it lets you normal summon level sevens um but so you can search a spell card if your opponent activates a monster effect or if this card declares an attack uh, you can look at the extra deck and just banish one face down um obviously super ins insane he's the biggest one well ogre's bigger but uh next up uh triple triple fenrir um the most expensive I think these things are still at 60 bucks a copy, unfortunately. Um, but Finner is pretty nice. Um, he's kind of like he's worse Pinker Tops. Uh, if you control no monsters, just special summon them. Um, like I said, they all have that effect. Um, if this card declares an attack, um, or if your opponent activates monster effect, you can uh, banish the card face down. Um, well, one face up card your opponent controls. Um, I don't know, it's a pretty crazy effect, but, like, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like Unicorn should be more expensive. I just think Unicorn's, like, by far crazier. Uh, the only, like, difference is, is like, cast tier. Like, Fenrir can search another cast tier monster. So, uh, Fenrir can search Fenrir. Uh, Fenrir can search uh, Unicorn. It can, it can search anything. That that might be the biggest divide. Uh, I don't know. I just think that full knowledge is, like, pretty insane. Um, and last for the cast tier monsters, Double Ogre. Um, it's pretty back and forth with, like whether I wanted to run three or not because you want to see like level sevens in your hand um, but he's a free body um, during the main phase you can um, add the trap from your deck to your hand uh, then your, if your opponent activates monster effect or if this thing declares an attack uh, you can just mill the first that will excavate the five cards off their deck um, banish one of the cards face down and you put them in the exact same order so um, I also think this one's pretty crazy too um, if this one had been like a super or like something like that, it would have just been like insane. But um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty crazy because you get like full knowledge. You can just rip a card. Um, you, you, you know, you see their outs. Like, so if they're about to draw like some crazy like silver bullet card or like some blowout card, um, you can just rip that from them. Um, Ogre is pretty crazy and you slept on. And then if your opponent, uh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but um, pretty nice. And then one Panker Tops. Um, he's an honorary cashier. Um, just because you can normal summon him off birth, um, you're almost never doing that, but like you can, so it's pretty cool. Um, next up, I run a uh, triple Psy Beast. Um, Psy Beast is actually um, pretty nuts. It's one of those cards you read it and you're like, damn, was this, was this card made for this deck? Because when it's normal summon, uh, you can just remove from play uh, one psychic type monster from your deck. Um, and then it becomes that. So you can literally, um, let's say you go like special summon unicorn, uh, normal summon side beast. Side beast can banish your Fenrir. 
Uh, so this makes this like a seven. Um, you search a spell card, get birth, special summon Fenrir, Fenrir search ogre, like and stuff like that. Like it's just, it's like crazy sequencing you can do. And it's like a free level seven. You can go into your Xyz, um, just go get going from there. Um, fortunately, I think these are like, I don't know, like eight, nine bucks a copy right now. Uh, pretty crazy. Um, I think it's pretty like broken in this deck. Uh, next up, uh, double danger Nessie. It's a free level seven. Um, and I consider this a third Nessie. Um, cause sometimes you'll have like a lot of times like in testing, I like Jackal up like six to my hand, like almost never see Nessie. I, like if I'm being honest with you. Um, but a lot of times like I'll have like this and a monster and then like spells traps and I'll just set everything. Uh, well, special summon a monster, set everything, and then activate Jackal. Jackal gets sniped. You'll special up the Nessie. Then you have like a free level seven. Um, so it's pretty nice. You're really just trying to get Nessie on board. Um, next up, the hand traps. Uh, Trouble D shifter. Um, just a turn skip. It's it's. I mean, it's just a turn skip. The card's crazy. Um, really don't know what to say about it. And like you love playing under it, because um, if you are. Um, you know, you keep going to Xyz, like your cashier are gonna like go to the grave. And, like, you know, you kind of want them banished, um, but it just it just sucks for like a lot of decks to play around. Um, I've literally had people, I go D shifter, um, set up my board past her and they just kind of like scoop because they don't have like really an answer for it. Um, just as what it is. Uh, triple Ash, because it hits like all rogue pretty much. Uh, triple Imperm, uh, oh, double Imperm, sorry about that. Um, I need to bump this up to three, um, but like it is what it is. I've even thought about like going like triple Valor, like triple Imperm, like I don't know, just cause um, <clears throat> the toughest matchup for this that like I currently play against is like Flu, um, cause this deck is teched out to be everything but that. And uh, Flu is just kind of like the superior like matchup. They just have all the answers and like, everything we have like kind of doesn't hurt the deck but um is what it is um and like there's like two flu players that i play against like pretty regular um cast your birth um uh, normal summon level sevens uh you can special summon one of your banished cast here not exes cards it's just crazy when your opponent activates a spell card um while you control the cast here you can target three cards in your opponent's graveyard and banish them um just crazy disruption graveyard disruption uh, next up, Sacred Swords of the Seven Stars times three. Um, you just banish one level seven monster uh, from your hand or face up on the field, draw two cards. Uh, you can only activate one. Uh, this card is like pretty silly broken um, in this deck specifically because it just, when you activate it, it just feels like Pot of Greed. Like just banish Fenrir, draw two cards. Like you're gonna get the Fenrir back. Like that's how silly like this card is. It, it literally just feels like Pot of Greed. Uh, next up, uh, board breaker slash like draw power, I guess. Uh, triple tactics talents, um, pretty crazy. Um, pretty often, like I'm just drawing two, or like I rip one, or uh, I don't know. This card's just crazy. It does whatever you want. Um, Pot of Zyrus. Um, honestly, you could run like Pot of Prosperity instead if you want to, um, but I don't know. I, I go into a lot, like almost my a lot of my extra deck. Um, but that's definitely an option because um, it gives you two cards rather than one so it is what it is and you run like a lot of multiples so you're never going to banish like every single finger or every city, single unicorn um, so and then if you get in a situation where you turn skip your opponent it kind of doesn't matter if you do it anyways um, you can win it off the backs of all the other like cashier cards um, next up double instant contact I run two and I also run two targets um, this card um the guy that won that like big event uh, i think he was running like one or two um because it's just a free level seven um and i think that's why the card shot in price because i pulled like one two of these out of like the same box which kind of sucks um but um it's a free um you can just pay 1000 special on a level seven or lower elemental hero and you space monster ignoring it's so many conditions um they can't attack or anything or anything like that um, just because, cause this is why you control, while Elemental Hero Neos is, um, if it's neither on your field nor in the graveyard, some monster cannot attack, effects are negated, all that stuff. You don't care. You should really carry that's a level seven, of course. Um, but I run two cause 
<clears throat> like oftentimes like you know if you open up one you know it's crazy but then sometimes like you draw for turn and like if you don't have the two targets it kind of sucks and there's like plenty of space like currently in the extra deck to run two targets so it's like why not um call by the grave um dimension ship dimensional fissure um it's just uh it's just a blog card it's pretty crazy um sick artwork as well um it's just pretty nuts um macrocosmos um uh i i would run like two of these but i only have like one secret rare and i would run another macrocosmos but um i can't find it it's in my bulk somewhere it kind of sucks and i'm not buying another one so and the last up cast your preparations um this card's kind of insane like i want to bump it up to two i'm um, just looking for space there's probably plenty of things i can cut i could cut like a side beast for it but uh dope preparations just seems correct um just in case you banish all the desires um the effect reads during either player's turn you can spell someone one of your cash tier monsters that is banished or in your hand uh, if your opponent activates a trap um or effect uh, while you control a cast monster and this card is already face up in your uh, spell and trap zone you can look at your opponent's hand and if you do banish one card from it uh, face down so pretty nuts um just another one of those cards um that gives you like full full knowledge pretty much um next up for the extra deck uh extra deck um pretty customizable uh one ip one nightmare cerberus um one nightmare phoenix one nightmare unicorn i think i went to phoenix once uh the other three i never went into it's pretty much like an xyz xyz spam deck um uh two cashier shangri era um this card is like pretty insane uh, during each semi phase you can spell summon one uh cash tier monster from your deck uh you can only use the previous effect uh, once per turn each time a card your opponent uh owns and possesses is banished face down uh, you can choose one unused main monster zone or spell and trap card zone. It cannot be used while this monster is face up on the field. Uh, if this card on the field will be destroyed, you can just attach one and it'll protect it. Um, so saying Shangri Era is pretty pretty nice. Uh, two of is probably fine. Uh, I was running three, um, but I think I cut one back for like another hero target. Um, double red eyes, uh, flare metal. Um, I was running two. You can easily take one out for another link card and another little level seven card whatever whatever you choose i just think like flare metal is pretty cool um and, and it's like it's pretty usable uh one divine arsenal double a zeus um honestly you could probably cut one of these and add two of those i just have like one secret and like one ultra so i, I just put like the one secret in here a uh, one dark and on dragon it's level seven um it's uh it's like pendulum effect is like fine once per turn uh you can target one face up monster your opponent controls have its attack original attack until the end of this turn um it's pretty nice because if it gets blown up it just goes straight to the pendulum zone like it's it's a pretty fun card um and then you could use it to get over stuff of course um number 89 diabolos the mind hacker um might as well say cashier because it its effect reads like it belongs in the archetype i just once per turn detach one material from this card look at your opponent's extra deck and banish one monster from it face down um which obviously also procs your cashier shanger era um uh, at the end of the battle phase of this card, uh, destroy a monster by battle. You can target one card in your opponent's graveyard, banish it face down. Uh, if a card your opponent owns and possesses is banished face down while you control this card, uh, you can banish cards from the top of your opponent's deck uh, face down equal to their face down banished. Um, just an insane card. Uh, you could, I mean, you could bump this down to one and add two of these. I mean, it's just pretty nuts. Uh, one guy dragging Thunder Charger, you could cut this all together and like add two of these. Um, but it's a level seven that does piercing, so it's fine. Um, big eye is actually kind of crazy when it comes up because it's just snatch still. Um, you get problems off the board, um, things that can't be destroyed with card effect, stuff like that. Um, you just you just take it, and then it's like permanent, so that's also great. And then for my targets for um, the con the whatever whatever this card's called, uh, instant contact. Um, I'd run the Flare Neos, and I'll run the uh, Elements of Hero Grand Neos, um, just because one's Fire, one's Earth. Um, so if I go into like a, um, Bestial is running around like crazy, um, I can just like overlay. Um, if I'm using like uh, the Diabolos, I can detach. Um, that'll hit the Grave, I'll banish their stuff, and then they won't have like a way to like, um, 
you know, gain that advantage because it has to be light or dark for those bestial cards. Because um, I had the dark one, or I was going to pick up the dark one, and then I just felt like these, these like off attributes that like aren't really like furthering anybody's strategy would probably help, or even like uh, run into like willingly run into a super poly. Like, you don't want to like go like, um, like have two darks on the field, like be extending and have like two darks and they just super poly it up. Everybody runs like super poly, so I try to make this like non super polyable, if that's a word. Um, but that's it for the like extra. Um, yeah, but super poly hit that card. And then I'll just show you like my side, just since it's right here. So I've been playing um, a triple lightning storm. I'm just trying to blow stuff up. A uh, triple cosmic cycle. Um, probably not even right, but whatever. I'm just banishing cards. A uh, one herpes feather duster. Um, triple evenly match um let me see uh two uh chaos hunter because some matches it's like super good but then some it, it kind of doesn't matter like um what if i'm playing against like i don't know sometimes it doesn't matter in the matchup because it's just when your opponent special summons a monster uh you can discard one card special summon this card from your hand um and then your opponent cannot banish cards so they can't like dd crow you they can't bestial you they can't they can't do any of that stuff um, so it's just a free, uh, you know, level seven body, can't banish, get your plays off. And last up, um, for when I'm going first, different dimension ground, um, any, any monster sense of river is banished instead. Um, so essentially it reads like a turn skip. So, um, that's pretty much it for that. Um, remember, please like the video if you like the video, comment down below what you would change. Uh, sometimes I feel like my monster count is super low. But then sometimes, like, I feel like, um, like, I could run even, like, less monsters and more, like, control spell trap cards. But let me know in the comments what you think or what you would change. Um, like the video if you liked the video. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, push us to 1K. Um, you know, we've been burning. So, um, we'll see you next time.